They're here! Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the CIA update for Door Kickers 2. That's right, we're going to be playing with CIA operatives here, trying to take down a terrorist cell. Um, it's going to be fascinating. Now, this is a compound in Afghanistan a few days before, of course, U.S. troops left Kabul, and really, the U.S. Army or the U.S. military was not willing to get involved in this particular fight. They knew it was likely to be a pretty vicious one, a pretty violent one, and they didn't want to have to clean up after the mess. So, of course, some CIA operatives arrived, and today, we are going to be using them. It does look like we've got a pretty standard M16 A4 rifle. It's pretty much the same setup as the Rangers. So, I'm just going to get the CIA operatives to go over on that side. We're going to get the this guy, I almost said Rangers, I'm going to get this guy to go ahead, pop the door open, and I'm going to keep this CIA operative, Larrabee, just watching. Once we do that, we'll reassess the situation. They can actually see us through windows here. Hopefully, though, they aren't aware of our presence yet. But once we get into this position, boom, we're in. We've got to start going fast. Come on, I'm just going to have him start firing. Let's hope this works out, guys. Over on this door, I'm also going to go ahead and bust open. Not bad, not bad. We've got to take that position quickly here. I don't want any of my operatives to go down. This is not a prisoner mission, so hopefully we won't have to take a single prisoner. In fact, I'm just going to kind of look at the window. Actually, there's no window. Nice, beautiful, wonderful. Let's get this CIA operative on this side. Oh my god! One down, back up. Oh, man. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and throw a flashbang inside, guys. Talk about going hot really quickly. It looks like Larrabee also has a sh potential shot on a target. Get him. Get him. What in the world is going on here? Okay, no, it's just a civilian. Never mind. We threw that flash in. We better pay attention here. I'm going to follow behind, but I'm absolutely going to have to move through with Max first. And of course, on these CIA missions, we're really just trying to eliminate these targets. As far as I know, there's nobody we need to take prisoner. Although it looks like they are, there are two hostages within the compound. We're going to want to get um, a situation report on them and kind of see what the hell they're doing here. I don't want to run into his line of fire, so let's go ahead and cancel that. Let's hope he's got his shots. We've got an enemy sniper, though, at distance, I believe. So I'm actually going to kind of get out of the way here. Room clearance is pretty tough when you don't have somebody watching your back. So here we go. We're going to push through. The only thing I kind of wish with this update is that they change the actual uniforms uh, to reflect, like, sort of CIA officers. I think that would be great. I think the way to uh, approach this is overwhelming firepower. So I'm going to do this. We're going to make sure that nobody's in these rooms. Yep, he's already moving forward. We want to immediately look this way. Okay, we've got ourselves a prisoner. And I believe... Look at that. Just a grunt insurgent. He simply didn't want any part of the fight. Although, of course, there could be additional enemies in that room. So as much as I'd like to be nice to this guy, I still feel like throwing a flashbang in just to make sure that there's nobody else in that room. Boom! Okay, I didn't mean to kill the guy, but uh, that works too. Oh, I told you guys there was someone else in that room. Do you see what I'm talking about? I just had a feeling, man. And I thought that the Flash would definitely take him out, but no way. These are the kind of risks you can take as a CA operative. And on every Door Kickers 2 mission, we're never trying to show you a perfect mission in this game. We're trying to make it a first-time mission, because this is exactly what it would be like for the guys going in. Of course, they do some training missions beforehand, but nothing prepares you for that first entry. Um... That's what she said. Um, but in any case, I hope you guys appreciate that. I know there's a lot of guys um, streaming and uploading Door Kickers 2 stuff. Um, but again, they are not uploading actual, um, you know, first-person stuff. They're really doing... Um, they're quite good at the game and, and really taking their time to get through each mission. If that's something you'd prefer, let me know in the comments. From my particular videos, what I do is, of course, this perspective um, of kind of like, you know, a first-time approach to a mission. Making it through it with one operative, I can kind of live with that. Of course, the agency is not going to be happy. 
But you know what? The agency always likes to tie up loose ends, to be honest. There we go. Another one down. That's not it. That's not it. Go back in. Make sure there's no one else over here. We're going to go clear the backyard. It might just be that final guy. You know what? I don't think we actually checked the kitchen. No kitchen is checked. I'm betting you it's going to be this guy. We have to, I think, take him prisoner. There we go. And it is a high-value target, guys. I guess the agency sent us here for a reason. Initially, we thought we were just going to be here to take out terrorists, but evidently, new objectives have popped up, and one of the objectives was to take that target into custody. Now, what I really love about this game is the ability to view the replay, and when we played Door Kickers, we used to always view the replay um, without any commentary, so that's what we're going to do here. Here we go, folks. Well, folks, it seems that the agency is sending us on yet another mission. And, of course, after losing such a valued member of our team, we want to make sure that this one is an absolute victory. Let's jump right in. Mission 2. And in this Danger Zone mission, we actually begin the fight in civilian garb. Um, what we're supposed to do is... Oh, look at that. Compromised almost immediately. We're supposed to get into the enemy compound here. Take out those weapons quickly. And that's exactly what we're going to go for. We've still got one of our guys, Luke, that's still undercover. Unfor or sorry, not Luke. Um, Feral, that's still undercover. Unfortunately, uh, the enemy did not fall for the ruse there. So we're going to dump in a flashbang with Luke and try and do as much damage as possible. I don't even think we're going to send Feral in. And the reason I'm doing this is just to make the enemy think we don't have as many... Um, troops as we actually do as long as we don't go into that area we're not going to arouse any suspicion but guys this is a, a cia mission of course a clandestine operation and the fact is it doesn't matter if one of our guys gets killed here the fight must go on we're not rangers here we're not trying to save all of our guys that doesn't even come into the equation as a matter of fact now i'm going to go in hot here with feral i think it's ready to pull that gun out and go to war there we go. Got one weapon destroyed. I'm going to pop through these doors just to make sure there's no enemies in the way. But the goal is to get over here to this firing line and take the fight to the enemy from there. In fact, I'm going to pop a flash in this general zone just to make sure that if there are any enemies in here, well, let's put it this way. They're going to be stunned for a few seconds before they choose to respond. So here we go. Boom. Oh, that was fast. Look at all the enemies. Look at all the enemies. Guys, we need to get in on this damn um, position, like, now. I don't know why it's giving us that door open um, icon. But actually, with th with Luke, I'm going to actually approach from here. So we're approaching from two different locations. In fact, what we could do is we could cancel movement and just have Luke throw a flashbang. Make sure they remain suppressed. This is exciting, folks. Here we go. Get him, get him, baby! Look at how many Talibs we were able to get right there. That was unbelievable, man. We cannot fail this mission. We cannot fail this mission. Uh, with this kind of uh, result, I just don't think it's possible. That's one of the best results I've had shooting. 
We didn't even check that last room. Let's hope that there's no Talibs in there. But we're going to keep moving through with Luke. And actually, we'll let um, Luke take the initial push here. And we'll go ahead and push with our next guy as well, with Feral. Just want to take a look over here and make sure there's no additional enemies. I don't think so. So let's stack up there on the gated door. Oh, boy. Let's not move. Let's just aim. <sighs> All right, he's already in, man. Screw it. Go. Do we have any more flashbangs? I think we might have a flashbang here. Uh, we should definitely toss it in that room and keep pushing with Luke. These last few seconds are going to be integral to victory. Moved in with the flash. Push through. Push through, man. I see that door open. I don't like that. That's one down. I hope he's got enough ammo. <sighs> Shit. Got one down, boys. Like I said, the mission must go on. We can't stop just because one of our operatives is down. Unfortunately, he's got no more flashbangs. It's going to come down to raw skill here. Good shot, son. Luke, I hope that's all they've got left, man. Let's go destroy those operation systems. Unfortunately, we lost a man. I think I just heard a damn... Uh, uh, did I just hear a magazine get, or a gun get cocked? I think I may have. Well, the goal here is to destroy these things, so let's destroy them. Let's hope we don't get shot in the back. Here we go, folks. Another IED down, as well as an anti-tank guided missile system over here. That's down. Let's get over here. And then, of course, we need to try and extract, I believe... Like I said before, not all of our operatives have to make it out for this to be a successful mission. We just need to accomplish the task at hand and get the hell out of here. In fact, I think pretty soon, if not right now, I want to switch back into my garb. Okay, so once you get out of your garb, that's good to know. Once you put that, pull that gun out, they pretty much know, yeah, this is not a civilian. Fair enough. Here we go, guys. Making it out of the mission. Once again, we're going to watch it uh, in its entirety. Unfortunately, not all of our operatives game out, but um, I'm not sure what the CIA gets for, you know, heroic actions. You know, obviously, um, Army gets, a, or, or Army Marines, a Navy, or Army and Marines at least get a Medal of Honor, things like that. So if you know what these guys get, let us know in the comments below. I just want to watch that again with no commentary whatsoever. That was such a fast, amazing mission, especially with that gunfight in the courtyard. Um, and I'm amazed we made it through. Hey! Compromised. They're here! Really came down to the reload there. I have to be more aware of my rounds next time without a shadow of a doubt. That's for sure. Reload before we go into a room. Done here. And again, these will never be used against coalition forces. Absolutely love these clandestine Done operations. Time to go. Well, guys, if you enjoyed this mission and you want to see some more door kickers too, make sure to let me know. Um, also, what do you prefer? Do you like these CIA missions or do you prefer the just super aggressive, um, of course, Delta Force missions, uh, Rangers missions, etc.? I do enjoy those too, but this is a great new update. A lot of interesting new approaches to the game, and I think that's pretty badass. 
catch you guys on the next one.